Imagine pinpointing your student's location while at school. It'll be a reality at two Northside schools next year. The district has approved a tracking device for students. Joe Conger joins us live from NISD headquarters with the story. Joe. Deborah, that's right. For about 10 to $15, these students will be able to get an ID that acts kind of like GPS for teachers and administrators. Every parent wants us to know where their child is at school. The 1,200 Cougars at Jones Middle School are about to get tagged. It's going to give us the opportunity to track our students in the building. Northside School District is piloting a program in the fall here and at Jay High School, a program that tracks students' movement through the halls and classrooms by radio frequency technology. They may have been in the nurse's office, the counseling office, vice principal's office, but they were marked absent from the classroom because they weren't sitting in the classroom. So it will help us have a more accurate count of our attendance. And attendance is everything. The district loses $175,000 a day in state funding because of tardy or absent kids. Tracking the ones that just didn't make it to first period may be a big payoff. And the RIFD chip promises to be student user friendly too. Not just locating a student, but also checking out books out of the library, getting your food out of the cafeteria, access to a computer lab, etc. I'm excited about that. It's almost like having a college ID again. Despite a startup cost of more than half a million dollars, Northside officials say the chips implanted in the students' ID badges will pay for themselves. The district bean counters expect to gain more than $250,000 in attendance revenue from the state and more than a million dollars from Medicaid because the district will be tracking special needs kids too. And Big Brother will have his limitations because that tracking will not be able to happen outside of the walls of those campus buildings or on those special needs buses. Reporting live, Joe Conger, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News.